Okay, so now I'm going to paint the bird. I'm going to start with the pink paint. Remember, if you're right-handed, it's best to paint from the top left-hand corner and work your way down across the sticker sheet to the bottom right-hand corner so you don't get your hand in your designs. If you're left-handed, you would just reverse the process. But I'm just going to work on this bird for now. So I'm going to start by doing three lines of pink. One at the top, one across the middle of his head, and one down here around his chin. Next, I'm going to fill in the other areas with the yellow paint. It's good to try not to use too much paint, so I'll squeeze a bit in and then I'll use the end of the paint nib to spread the paint out. You have to do it carefully so that you don't mix the paints together. Here it might be good to just wipe the end of the paint nib so that you don't smudge the paint. Now I'll just fill in this area of the face. Again using the end of my paint nib to spread the yellow paint out as I go. Also, try to stay in between the black lines. Now that I've finished the face, I'm going to use the marbling tool. When you use it, try to use this bottom edge. Hold it like a pen and drag down through your design. I'm going to start here at the top and very lightly drag down through the centre of the bird's head all the way through the second pink line. And I've created a strap. I'm going to clean the end of my marbling tool because this helps to not mix the colours up. Next I'm going to do the same thing on the edge, again through both lines, and here on the other edge. Then I'm going to do some little lines up from the bottom. It helps if you spin your sticker around as you paint so that you don't knock your design. Now I'm going to do some yellow stripes in the opposite direction. So now I start in the yellow area and again very lightly I drag the tool through the pink. Now I'm going to finish painting the sticker. And that's how you do the stripes marbling effect.